The back for SketchUp has its own continuous dimension tool and it is very easy to use. First, I'm going to hide the floor layer for a better visualization and then I convert to 2D both groups. If I want to create the dimensions of the main floor plan, I need to edit that group. Now, I can select the continuous dimension tool of the back and click in the exterior of the wall to indicate the first point. Note that when I move the mouse, the back automatically displays the dimensions every time the indicator crosses a line of the wall. When I make it all the way to the opposite facade, I can click again to finish the calculation. I can now move the dimensions all together to place it in a better position in the floor plan and left click one last time to confirm the insertion. Despite having created this line of dimensions at once, each of these elements are separate dimensions. This way I can individually select the dimensions of the wall and press the delete key to get rid of them. However, we can tell the bag not to display any dimension lower than a certain value. To do this, I select the continuous dimension tool of the bag again and in the measurement box of SketchUp, I type the minimum value that will be shown with this tool. In this case, I type 0.31 because I don't want to see the thickness of the walls. As you can see, the only dimensions that are displayed by the bag are the ones that are higher than 0 0.31 I'm going to convert to 3D the main floor plan to see how it looks like. And now I edit the group of the terrace to insert the dimensions over there. Note that the dimensions created with the back are also physical elements in SketchUp. This allows me to create a layer for the dimensions. Now I can select all the dimensions in my project and include them in this layer to hide them or show them anytime I want. <laughs> 